This quick tutorial will be broken into two parts. Part one, I'll show you how to make your own HDRI images and how to process these files. And in part two, I'll show you how to use those HDRIs inside of Cinema 4D and Arnold. For this tutorial, the camera I'm using is the Insta360 ONE X. You want to choose a camera that records in RAW, has white balance and manual exposure control, or at least a way to bracket the exposure like the ONE X I'm using. Next, we want to choose a scene and think about where our 3D object will be in the scene. And this is where you want to place the camera. If you haven't done so already, make sure you have your camera's app installed. Now via the app, I will start entering the exposure settings. First, enable camera raw. Then set white balance to cloudy. I'll set my ISO to 100. And then verify the exposure value is set to zero and take a picture. Now change the exposure value to plus one, take a picture and continue the process for exposure values of plus two and plus three. Then take three more images at minus one, minus two, and minus three. After downloading your files to your computer, we'll begin processing the files. I'm using the Insta360 ONE X and we'll be using their software, Insta360 Studio. To begin the process, go ahead and navigate to where you've stored your files. Go ahead and command click all your DNGs and then all you do is just drag and drop here. Now click command A to select all your files. And I did not use a case, so I'm just going to do a normal stitching. Click calibrate. That'll take it just a second to calibrate. You'll see the image move slightly. Then just go ahead and click this button here to start the export or hit command E. We want to do a target resolution. We want to do the original. We want horizontal correction. We do not want to use the uh, logo to process the file. And then just pick a destination where you want to save these files to and click OK. Now open Adobe Bridge and go ahead and select all your files. Tools. Photoshop, merge to HDR Pro. Now select remove ghost. Verify that you're in 32 bit and verify that complete toning in Adobe Camera Raw is deselected and click OK. Here you see my tripod base. You could go ahead and clone that out. For this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and crop it out. Then just go to File, Save As, choose Radiance, name your file, and click Save. Now inside Cinema 4D, I have a basic scene with several 3D objects and a shadow catcher. I'll show you how to use our custom HDRI in Arnold and using the physical renderer. Now to use our image, just click Arnold Light, Sky Dome Light, under Color, pick Texture, pick your HDR image. I know this image, I need about one stop of exposure. I'm going to turn my samples up to three. And I don't want the image to show up, so I'm going to turn my camera down to zero and click render. If you're using the physical renderer, all we need to do is add a sky object to the scene, create a new material, open that material, turn off color, turn off reflectance. Select Luminance, click here to add our image. If you want to change the exposure, click here. Turn up one stop like we did in Arnold and click Render. We're now back at my base scene and I'm going to go ahead and render this out using different HDRIs so you can see the difference that each image makes. And you'll specifically notice with your shadows and your reflections and lighting as a whole the, the difference that each image makes. 